Hey everybody, Austin here again with another pinball gameplay video. As you can see, it's going to be Bally 8 Ball from 1977. A very, very early Bally solid state pinball machine, uh, but a very fun one. It's, well, it's very frustrating, but it can also be very, very fun. In this gameplay session, actually, I had many, many frustratingly bad games, uh, but I had a few good ones here, and I'm going to be demonstrating two of those for you guys. One game where I have about 200,000 points, which isn't phenomenal, but it, trust me, it was a lot better than most of the other games I recorded for this session. Uh, but then the second game ends up being a little over 400,000, which is a little more respectable and uh, shows off kind of what you can do in this game. So, those of you guys unfamiliar with this type of video series I do here, uh, this is a commentary video. I'm going to be explaining the rules and so forth about Bally 8-Ball. If you don't like this kind of video, I have a non-commentary version on this same channel you can check out. So, just head back to my channel if you don't want the commentary. Otherwise, just stick around here and you can uh, hear me talk about some Bally 8-Ball. So, Bally Apel actually has a fairly simplistic rule set. Actually, not fairly simplistic, very simplistic. Uh, you have two main goals in the game. Collect all your pool balls and light your spinner. And that's basically it. So, collecting your pool balls is actually pretty pretty easy. You've got a couple uh, stand-up targets throughout the playfield. Um, those will collect some pool balls. Uh, your right in-lane will collect a pool ball and then your four top lanes will collect pool balls as well. Once you collect all seven pool balls, the eight ball target will light, which is up in the top right hand corner of the playfield. And when you collect uh, your all eight pool balls, uh, you'll actually light super bonus on your next ball. Now super bonus is effectively an entire rack of pool balls. So you'll get to start your next ball with an entire rack of balls, which is basically your end of ball bonus, and then you'll get another chance to earn a second rack of balls stacked on top of that for some really massive bonus. Now, each pool ball you collect is worth 3,000 points in bonus. But by hitting the bank shot, which is the uh, right loop, you can actually build your bonus multiplier, your end of ball bonus multiplier, up to five times. So those 3,000 point pool balls can end up becoming worth 15,000 each for some really big bonus. Now, when you hit the eight ball target, uh, there's a really nifty feature that happens. It lights your kickback on the bottom left part of the play field, the left out lane, basically. The left out lane is extremely dangerous in this game. It's almost like a vacuum. It's such a wide gap. Um, and there's actually a, a metal rail uh, that sort of curves down into that out lane. So you don't really have much opportunity to nudge uh, the ball back into play on the left out lane. So it's really crucial that you hit your eight ball target as much as you can uh, whenever your kickback is not lit. That way you get your kickback lit. Now the benefit to doing that is that you also light your left spinner. Now there's only one spinner in the play field but it's on the left hand side of the play field. And so by hitting your eight ball target not only will you light your kickback but you will light your spinner as well for a thousand points of spin. The spinner, when it's not lit, really is not worth going for, for points. Um, you might go for it just to get the ball up there to collect some pool balls, and maybe hope the ball jiggles into the eight ball target on the way back down, but uh, for the most part, you're not going to be hitting the spinner uh, unless it's lit, ideally, if you're playing for points. So, yeah, two main points to, uh, to score big in this game is to collect your pool balls, to maximize your end of ball bonus multiplier, which as you can see here, it's maxed out, and then hit the eight ball target to light your spinner, and then milk the spinner for a thousand points of spin. And what's great about the left spinner is you can actually hit it from either flipper. And occasionally the bank shot on the right, you can also hit from either flipper, although it's a little bit trickier to do it from the right flipper. You have to sort of let the ball roll up and then do a backhand very quickly, and you'll see that a couple times throughout this video. But the left spinner, when you have the ball on the left flipper, just backhand it. If you have it on the right flipper, forward hand it. Uh, tap passing also works really well if you need to get the ball, say, from the right flipper to the left flipper. Although you do have to be careful, you can accidentally tap pass the ball into that left vacuum-like out lane. So that's basically the gist of 8-Ball. It's really not a complicated game at all. 
if I was playing this in a competition, I would probably try to get the ball in the left flipper and nail that eight ball target uh, head on to light my spinner and light my kickback. That is assuming that uh, the eight ball target actually registers. Unfortunately, on this machine, uh, a forward hand shot to the eight ball target from the left flipper usually does not register. Uh, the contacts on the, uh, the target needs to be cleaned. But um, what I typically do on this specific machine is shoot the ball up to the bank shot and uh, hope that the pop bumpers uh, knock the ball into the eight ball target to again light my spinner and light my kickback. In a tournament, if you're on a well-tuned machine and your eight ball target works nice, I would probably pound the eight ball target head on from the left flipper. Uh, it's much more reliable that way because when you try to shoot the ball up to the bank shot, the bank shot loop, uh, it doesn't always ricochet into the eight ball target. You could hit that bank shot loop five, six, seven times and not have the pops bounce the ball into the eight ball target. So this game's almost over. Uh, as you can see, I've got my super bonus slits. Again, a super bonus is basically a full rack of balls and it carries over from ball to ball. So what you really ideally wanna do for big points is light your super bonus on ball one which is exactly what I did here, and that's really the key to big points in this game. If you plan on rolling the uh, the scoreboard on this game, you have to get your super bonus on ball one. Uh, otherwise, it's going to take you all day to milk that spinner. Uh, the spinner can be worth really good points. It can be worth anywhere from twenty to 40,000 points uh, for a nice spin when it's lit, but it, it's still a lot of work to get the ball back to the flippers and just hit that spinner again and again. Uh, it takes a lot of luck to to get really big points that way. So the key to big points is both milking your, it's a combination of milking your spinner and collecting a full rack of balls to get your super bonus, getting your bonus X up maxed, and then collecting both, both a full rack for your super bonus and a regular full rack at five times for huge points. So that's basically it, guys. Uh, that's Bally 8-Ball. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, check out my channel for some other gameplay videos, and I'll be back with some more pinball videos sometime soon. So until then, take it easy, guys.